viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a home of accurateness and current news. For those who subscribe, we want to say a big thank you to every one of you. And if you're yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And now the news in details. Anxiety in Kogi as youth killed four eight men in repressor attack. Youth at Ofarachi community located close to Ida local government area of Kogi state have killed four full and in fresh eight men and farmers clash. An eyewitness, Mr. Howdu, who disclosed the incident and Fulanese had gone to a farmland, destroyed all the crops and killed a farmer who brought policemen to witness what they did right in presence of the policemen. Angered by the killing of the farmers, youth in the area invaded the Fulanese settlement and four Fulanese were killed with retaliation. A community resident confirmed that members of the community no longer sleep but are keeping vigilant in anticipation of Fulanese coming from another attack. Neighboring community close to Ofarachi, including Ogogbo, Odolu, Akpaya, are now living in fear as a result of possible repressive attack by the Fulanese. Kogi State has witnessed different attacks in the re respective communities in the last five years, with Tarawi and Ofarachi being the latest. Earlier this year, governments expected to be headsmen attacked and killed no fewer than 19 people in Tawari community in the Kogi local government area of Kogi state, burning buildings, including the palace of the king of the community. However, Kogi state governor had asked for intensive inquiry into what led to the incident so as to bring the perpetrators to book. Wow, so guys, what do you think about uh, what is happening right now in Kogi state? You know, and a lot of people made a comment and said that one is pleasantly surprised that the federal government has not seen anything unusual about the fact that Fulani eight men, others, are the only group of people disturbing the peace of every community in all state of the Federation. You know, it's just a very sad thing to hear that uh, the federal governments are not doing anything about it. At least, they will hear the news here and there about this same incident of Fulani eight men going to Yoruba land, going to Higbo land, to destroy their farmlands. And come to think about it, they are not doing anything about it. And that is just so unfair. And at the end of the day, by the time they start talking, they will say that uh, they have the freedom to go anywhere in the land. They have the freedom to go anywhere. You can imagine this. How will somebody invest on his farm? And full and knees will just go there and destroy what that person has invested for for years. That is just so bad. And now look at what is happening in Kogi State. Thank God that these people retaliated immediately to show them that even if the federal government cannot do anything about them, they will fight for themselves. And that is a good thing. I believe if other states are doing this thing, obviously the, the, the Fulani Esme will package themselves somewhere because this is getting too much. This is getting out of hand. And the government are not doing anything about it. And somebody said that it's the... Uh, President Muhammad Buhari and his Fulani Kitchen Security Cabinet, or right put. GMB's Northern Security Council that has failed Nigerians in the responsibility of protection of human lives and property through their hidden agenda to Fulani's Nigeria, and they keep indulging the criminal Fulani headsmen at the expense of other Nigerians and Nigerian people now have no choice than to protect themselves. Obviously, since the government is not saying anything. They don't have a choice than to protect themselves from all these killings of the uh, innocent ones by the Fulani headsmen. So they have to protect themselves. Is that not the reason why the Southwest decided to, 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 to bring out the idea of Operation Amorteku? Because they know that the federal government is not doing anything about it. And now people are just coming out to secure their state. And I believe that that is the best thing so far. And you know, they said that criminal Fulani headsmen have murdered sleep, sh sleep, and they shall sleep no more. And this is just the beginning of the end, as a word is enough for the wise. It is better GMB and its holy Northern Security Council yield to the yearning of Nigerians to, as a matter of urgency, convene a restructuring of Nigeria or nothing more. They said they should start killing all their cows, or he then they will run. There was an incident of this same Fulani ex men in Ondo State whereby they left their cow and they ran away. You know, they left their cow 
and they ran away. You can imagine this. And uh, what what uh, the Oba of Ondo State did to them is that they packed all the almost hundred cows. They took the hundred cows away. They took it to the palace somewhere and they kept it. You know, I believe it's it is high time for everybody to start coming up. All the all the hobbers, all the governors to start coming up, even the common men to start fighting for themselves because it looks as if the government are just keeping mute, are just being mute at this time around, and it is not helping the country at all. It is not helping the country, you know. And just it's just a bad thing to hear that the government is not doing anything about it. The governments are not after the lives of common men. They are not after the security of the common men. And that is just a bad thing. That's a very bad thing. And they said that God will help us if we help ourselves. It is time for everyone in Nigeria to defend ourselves. If Fulani can kill someone in front of the police, and police cannot do anything. Wow. It's even a shame on the Nigerian government. It's a shame. The work of the police, the work of army, the work of the navy is just to protect the common man, just to protect Nigerian citizens. And now, the headsmen are doing wrong thing in front of the police. And the police is has nothing to even do at all. The police is powerless. You can imagine. And before you know it now, they will start saying that, hey, we have police in the country, we have a navy, we have army, we have all of them. Why is the Southwest bringing up a uh, Amoteco and all that? Look at this incident now. My question is that, do you think the police is effective? Seeing all the things that is going on in Kogi State and it's just like there's nothing the police did about it. You know, to tell you that we lack insecure, we lack security in the country right now. We lack security. And it is just a bad thing. It is a bad thing entirely, you know. It's just so bad to hear that. It's a bad thing. I know somebody said that the stock of trade of Nigeria and different hubs of government serious problem on rest. They said where it is duty to be on guard, not to disturb after her men must die must die you the ofarachi youth have to stand tall and defend your community thinking government is waste of time obviously they have to stand up and fight for themselves if the government said no we cannot do this no we cannot solve the case of insecurity if the government said that no we cannot solve the, the this same problem of men killing our innocent war if the government said that no we cannot solve the problem of this same men going to farms, farmer, farmer, farmland and destroy what people has already cultivated. You know, it, the, God, the community needs to stand up and fight for themselves by hobbies. They need to stand up. Because this is, this is out of hands. And you can imagine there, there was one of my news that Mayeti Allah was saying that hey, they have the freedom to go anywhere they want to go in Nigeria, in the state. Nobody can stop them. You can imagine. For them, for them to even have that God, that heart, to talk nonsense like that, it shows that the president has already given them the heart of boldness to, 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 to be able to control the whole Nigeria themselves. And it is this Fulani headsman, it is these people in the north that, that are causing a huge amount of problem in the state in the country right now they are the source of our pro nigeria problem because their own thing is just to govern to direct to rule to overthrow people and it is not done like that it is not done like that the community the, 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 the community they should come together and fight for themselves if the federal government said no we cannot do this they should fight for themselves by all means you can imagine an incident happened in Kogi State, saying all the all the all the Fulani experts killing people, and the police does not have anything to do about about it. And the police could not even do anything. It's just a it's a shame. It's a big shame on the Nigerian government right now. To see that we don't even have a faithful one, we don't have a faithful police. We don't have all of them. They are all corrupt people. It's a slap to hear that. So, guys, what do you think? What is your whole take about this news? Your comment is highly appreciated. Kindly drop your comments 
at the comment section below. We want to say a big thank you to everyone that subscribed on our channel. We say God bless you for subscribing. We say thank you so much. Bye.